Hey everybody, Josh here. Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about layering of elements in Excel and explain a little bit about why it's so important to be aware of layers, how those layers work for doing more complex designs, and then how they can make it a lot easier when you're doing something like a complex dashboard. So if you've ever used uh, any kind of image editing tool or even something like PowerPoint, you're probably loosely familiar with the idea that objects have an order. So as you can see here, you have an element farthest in the back, you have an element farthest in the front. Each piece is an element here. We've got each shape, each grouping of shapes, front to back, and you can reorder them. You can bring things farther forward into the foreground, farther back into the background, and they'll show up beneath or in front of other elements. Um, in Excel, your element that's farthest in the background is your actual cell grid layout, cell A1, cell B2, etc. right? That's the very farthest back. And then as you stack things on top, they stack on top in an order. It's good to be aware of that because some, at some point when you're using Excel, you might drop in an element and then add a shape over it and not be able to figure out why you can't see your element that's behind the shape. It's because the order's wrong. You can hop into that reorder objects menu and bring it farther forward and it'll show up. Um, on the simplest level, that's why it's important to know about, but there's some other factors that really matter too. So you might notice when I click this, the whole thing selected instead of each one little element on this, right? Instead of each little piece, it highlighted the whole thing. And that's because I grouped all these elements together. Um, grouping elements together, it's really simple. You just multi-select a few elements. You can right click and there's gonna be a group option here to group. These are already grouped, so I can't regroup them. Or in your shape format menu, you'll see the group tab in the upper right. When you group it all together, you can move it all as a unit. And why that's important is that in a complex design like this, there's like 13 different pieces that make up this little design right here. If I had to multi-select all 13 pieces every time I wanted to move this thing, it would take forever. It would just be so tedious. So instead, I group it together, I can move the whole thing all at once. And I've done that to each of my cards here. Each little card piece is grouped together properly because that's kind of how I'm laying out my design. Um, one other important thing to know when you're talking about grouping elements together, multiple elements, when you multi-select elements in Excel, and that's I'm holding shift and clicking on multiple pieces, you get under your shape format uh, menu an align option. And what this does is it lets you make a clean layout for all of the pieces in your design. So if I hit align left, these are already aligned left, but everything is going, to, it's going to look at the three elements that are selected, it's gonna look at which one is farthest to the left, and it's gonna align all the other elements to the left along that farthest element to the left. So you have a nice clean line along that left-hand side. That seems maybe a little detail-oriented or unnecessary, but this is so critically important when you're trying to make a clean design that has a nice layout and looks organized. Always align everything. This is kind of something I, I mention in all of my posts, all of my things on designing in Excel. Think about every element being aligned to another element because everything should theoretically be organized in space in a way that makes sense. Randomly dropping stuff on your page doesn't work. Always align it to something else. I also want to mention that under the align option, you also have the ability to distribute things evenly. So for example, I have this card layout, all these pieces, I want them to be spaced evenly. So I use the distribute horizontal or distribute vertical options here to make sure that the spacing in between each element is the same. Um, it's a really useful tool and it's a great way to kind of upgrade, you know, whatever you're making to look a lot cleaner and a lot more organized. Um, so those are the core elements of this. Start to think about layers, stay aware of your layers. Always align all of the elements on your page. Take the time to group things together so it's easier to make changes and adjust your layout later on. Um, if you start doing that, it's going to make life a lot easier and you're going to get dashboards that look a lot better. Um, this example here is from the uh, Excel uh, the Excel dashboard toolkit, um, which I saw on my site. I'll include a link below if you want to check it out. Um, and I also am going to send out a piece in the newsletter at some point explaining all of this in a little bit more detail. So feel free to join the newsletter if you want more stuff like this. Thanks so much for uh, checking it out and tuning in, everyone, and I hope you all have an amazing Wednesday, wherever you are. Bye.